The same science that gives this bottle of soda its fizz could also help coal power plants produce clean energy. But how? With the help of researchers from Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, we'll explain carbon capture and conversion. And we'll do it in 90 seconds. A promising way to clean up fossil fuels involves piping exhaust from power plants through solvents that grab onto carbon dioxide. You have to heat the liquid to make it release the CO2 as a gas. But then it takes catalysis at incredible heat and pressure to convert that CO2 gas into something useful. Traditionally, catalysis researchers have really only looked at CO2 conversion in the gas phase at high temperature. This is really a non-starter for industry because it's both inefficient and expensive to implement. Researchers at PNNL wondered if CO2 could instead be converted in the same solvent it was captured in. Well, when you have it in the liquid phase, you've already paid that energy to capture the CO2 and essentially concentrate it into that solution. And so because of that high concentration, you can do the chemistry in it. And it's no coincidence that the same chemicals that you use for capture are also used to promote the conversion. The captured carbon forms carbonates, the same stuff responsible for carbonation in soda. This liquid form of carbon can undergo reactions at lower temperatures and pressures. In other words, it's more efficient. Our research uses both theory and experiment to help us understand how this conversion can occur efficiently at the power plant. Capturing the carbon and converting it into products on site may actually be the cheapest way to make a fossil fuel power plant clean. The researchers are studying how to convert the captured carbon into fuel or plastic. Imagine, carbon captured from U.S. coal power plants in a single day could make enough plastic for 10,000 of these bottles. Thirsty for more catalysis research? Learn more at iic.pnnl.gov.